Hello, it's Dr. Jeff Spencer once again broadcasting from the Charles de Gaulle Airport here in Paris, France. And just when I thought that I was over those two incredible dramas with my first footstep on French soil here, once again, not out of the woods, I've had another crisis pop up here when I was en route to my gate to get that flight to be able to hit not in the team hotel with the riders. I looked up at the TV monitor and it said the flight had been canceled. So here I am, you can probably see the guy at the service desk in the background kind of scrambling to figure out whether it's going to be by bus or whether it's going to be tomorrow morning by plane. I mean, who knows? And this is again an example of one of those tactics that the champion's blueprint is so known for and that technique and that tactic is always expect the unexpected so when it happens you're never at a loss as to what's to do. So I know exactly what to do with this. I'm going to let them figure it out and while I'm doing that I'm going to share with you some of the top principles which the champion's blueprint is based on but also one other good thing is that I do now have my internet connection so I am picking up my voicemails and my emails so that's the upside to what's happened over the last six to seven hours while I've been here in the airport trying to get this figured out. So principle number one in the champion's blueprint is that success isn't an accident. It's the outcome of very specific strategies and actions that are consistently applied. In my view, success is more than just will and more than talent. There's plenty of talent, plenty of will out there that doesn't go anywhere. It's purely a matter of learned structure that anybody can learn at any time, at any age, to be able to consistently apply these tactics to keep life moving forward. It's a learned skill. Tactic number two is that there's only one of us in all the creation. I mean, think about that. There's six billion people on this planet right now and there's only one of us. And since the first footprint was put on this planet, however long ago that was till now, there's still only one of us which makes us extraordinarily unique, actually one of a kind and irreplaceable and priceless that uniquely qualifies us to do some extraordinary things in life if we can connect our talents up with a method to be able to cultivate our talents to become a life platform. Principle number three is that we're all born winners. I know that many people don't believe that. People have never been taught that. Generally, people don't accept that, and many people have never experienced that, but I know that that's true because I've never met a person that couldn't wait to get up and fail. I mean, can you imagine that? Oh, I'm so glad I had such a great night's sleep. I have so much energy. I'm going to go out. I think I'm going to allocate that and use that towards failing. I mean, forget about it. It never happens. But what I do know is that I've had many people come and tell me that they feel that there's this huge abyss this Grand Canyon-like gap between their will, their talent, their ambition, and their willingness to learn and their tangible life successes and that they would like nothing more than to have a blueprint to show them how to glue together the elements that are necessary to merge their talent with their will to be able to create a life of intentional victory. And one of the reasons why success and achievement are so important is that it's how we honor the privilege of life and how we honor our gifts and every time we succeed, we also honor our family that gave us those genes. We pay homage and respect to our friends that are always there. We say thank you with gratitude to our mentors that told us that one thing at that time that we needed to hear it, that converted our life and took it to a higher level permanently. They probably don't even remember even saying it. It also says thank you to those people that have given us support, both financially and with equipment. But perhaps even the most important reason why success is important is that it shows others that living a life of greater passion, purpose, productivity, and prosperity is absolutely possible. All we need to do is have the willingness to be able to show up and learn these tactics and have that blueprint embedded into our life so we know what to do when to be able to consistently win. And principle number four is, is that we all have a voice that someone needs to hear. There is something that we are an authority on that can make the difference in someone's life out there on this planet right now. And that's why we have an obligation to be able to share what we know with others to be able to pet, be able to pass that baton on to be able to help others get to the top of their game and stay there with less time, effort, and expense. So those are the four cardinal principles that the foundation of the Champions Blueprint is based on. Number one, is that winning isn't an accident, it's the purposeful outcome of very deliberate actions. Number two, there's only one of us in all the creation that uniquely qualifies us to do some extraordinary things. 
Principle number three is that we're born to win. Principle number four is that we all have a voice that needs to be heard. That's an amazing thing, and all of those four different principles are things that we learn. We're not born with it, and if we don't use it, they start to atrophy like a muscle. They no longer become part of the fabric of how we respond to life. And those are also the things that create our legacy and leave our personal indelible stamp on the history of humanity. So this is Dr. Jeff Spencer once again, and hopefully for the last time from the Charles de Gaulle Airport here in France. I'm going to sign off now. I've got to figure out what's happening, whether it's going to be bus or whether it's going to be plane. But whatever it is, I'll be able to step up and capitalize on it. So I look forward to uh, sharing with you our next tactic. So until then, ride big and ride strong.